at the end of this tournament, which is now. So he clearly will not be the England manager any longer. Um, and the fallout from this will not be kind on him and on the players. Now, who, mm. who are the fall guys here within that England team? Who, who will get it in the neck, so to speak? Well, I think Davies largely right um, in his analysis of the Premier League. What you have got, um, that you've got strong brands. The whole world now is about brands. What people buy is Liverpool, Manchester United, Chelsea, Arsenal, Manchester City. The great names in the history and people all over the world, everywhere in the world now, you can get live Premier League soccer. So these brands are so strong in China, uh, in Africa, everywhere. And it, the, the Premier League is really wealthy. Uh, but only one in three players in the first team in the Premier League is English for a start, which is dramatic. The game changes, the big players in most of the English clubs at their best have been foreigners recently. And it's, these players, Vivi's so right. I mean, Gary Cahill and Chris Smalling, we watched Italy, Spain earlier on today. If, if when Conte gets, the, who's the Italian manager, when he gets to Chelsea, Damon's old club, and he sees Gary Cahill, he's going to get a headache. <laughs> and when he, say, he sees Kurt Zuma, uh, he's going to get a bigger headache. <laughs> so they, it's, a, it's a shock. Uh, it's worth remembering as well while reflecting on this Fabio Capello managed England for uh, quite a long time on a huge contract, 6 million a year he didn't make much of a fist of it he was the manager in South Africa for example when they were, you know, very very poor, so the players aren't there, that's number one it's the same in all these islands here uh, the players aren't there anymore and therefore the brand England, which is so powerful in England, to play for the three lines and all of that stuff. You know, you put out Joe Hart, Kyle Walker, you know, Danny Rose. Where's the players? Sturridge, Harry Kane, Dyer, Deli Alley. They're not real players. I mean, the, 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 the Italians today, but it's, it's, a, yeah. it's a previous match. Now, I would fancy Ireland against England because we have a unity and a fortitude. The Icelanders had a unity and a fortitude, a simple plan, a good coach, uh, and the determination. I think the, the difference is that I'd say, I don't know what you think, Damien, because you just come off playing. <clears throat> I'd say the English players could see the headlines at halftime, tomorrow's that's the, papers, that's the and way. that's in your head. Of course. Yeah. Uh, and even those stats be... that we threw up beforehand about the last time they won a knockout round, I don't think they've ever won a knockout it's round just, by the Euros on far, foreign soil. It's just worth if, reading again for our viewers the list of countries they've beaten in major championships if I can find since real 1966. Quick. Since England won the World Cup uh, at major championships, the World Cup and Euros, England have beaten in knockout games Paraguay, Belgium, Cameroon, Spain, Denmark and Ecuador. And Ecuador was the 